Hi, welcome to the Helicopter Training Videos. In this video we're going to be looking at the three different main rotor system types. In defining the uh, different types of rotor head systems, we first of all need to understand how uh, rotor blades can move. They can move in three main ways. They can twist or pitch or feather as it's known as. They can also move up and down in a flapping motion. And they can also seek forward and backwards along the tip plane in what's known as lead lag or hunting. So now you understand the different ways a blade can move, let's talk about the three main rotor systems. In a rigid rotor system the blades independently, independently feather. In a semi-rigid rotor system they feather and flap and in a fully articulated uh, rotor system they independently feather, flap and also lead lag. And we'll go through the examples of each and, and a little bit more detail. So here we have an example of a rigid rotor system. It's on a BO-105, otherwise known as the Red Bull helicopter. And the idea with the rigid rotor system is that the rotor blades themselves can individually feather, but any uh, other motion in terms of lead lag or flapping is done by bending of the, the blades. So here's an example of a semi-rigid rotor system. This one's uh, the R-44. The R22 is very similar, just uh, smaller components. So this is the main rotor system of the R22. And as we talked about earlier, this is a semi-rigid system. And we have, I'll just go through the parts here. Uh, we have, this is the main uh, teeter hinge. And this allows this system to flap as one unit. So as one goes up, the other one goes down. Uh, then we also have these additional hinges here. These are the coning hinges or the secondary flapping. And they allow these to move up a little bit by themselves. Um, then we have this brown piece here. This is the, the pitch bearing housing. This allows this entire blade to rotate or pitch or feather. Here we have an example of a fully articulated rotor system. It's a Schweitzer 300 helicopter. And the idea, like we already said, with a fully articulated system is that the blades individually flap, feather, and lead lag. Sometimes there may be more than one hinge for each one of those. Uh, obviously this makes it a little bit more complex and a little bit more uh, uh, heavy and, and expensive. Um, but uh, there's obviously performance benefits and a lot of helicopters use that system of a fully articulated rotor head. For more information, check out the Robinson R22 or the R44 POH Pilot Operating Handbook. The FAA also produces the Helicopter Flying Handbook, which you can download from their website. ASA produce a helicopter oral exam guide and a private test prep, both of which will cover uh, systems questions to help you prepare for your private check ride uh, or your written test. And uh, there's also the Robinson R22 or R44 maintenance manual you can download from Robinson. Any thoughts, any questions, any feedback, we appreciate all those. Please send them on.